Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Limited Run Games unboxing, and today we have the one in the last video I said I was most excited for, honestly, uh, ironically, I guess, um, or oddly enough, that's what I'm trying to say. This should be Night Trap, Limited Run Games for the Nintendo Switch Collector's Edition number 8. And I think it is, because it's in a pretty sizable box, and there's some cool stuff in here. And I guess we're now gonna open this up, we're gonna take a look at it, we'll play some, and we'll uh, kinda discover this game together. I hear it's awful, but like, good awful, so I'm looking forward to it. So as we crack back this giant cardboard box, we get a bunch of brown paper, woohoo! Freebies, I like it. All right, it's in there somewhere. Oh, it's extra protected, very cool, all right. And upside down. <laughs> Got some more bubble wrap for Mary. Oh, nice. We got the card there already. And then nothing else in the box. So let's change the camera. Okay, so of course we do have this awesome packaging, which we'll look at a little bit more here. And unfortunately we do have the external J card. I really wish Nintendo would have told them this from the start so just be printed because I hate J cards. Um, we are gonna get our another loyalty reward thing here for limited run. Now you do have to send in the physical ticket so I'm not worried about showing you my numbers. And we do get a card and uh, it's a pretty interesting card. So this is my understanding is this is like, I don't know if it's point and click or choose your own adventure, but there's like live action video scenes and it probably gets a little risky because I heard that this was a game Nintendo or somebody used to say would never be on the Nintendo because of, um, you know, their, uh, whatchamacallit, their like, their family friendliness, I guess. But here we are and it's actually on Nintendo. It's been digital for a little while, so here you go. First game, card title with continuous full motion video and audio. Okay, plays like a movie. Nice. And we get all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Scat, special combo attack team, all right. I think this is gonna be a pretty fun one and pretty interesting. So blood, suggested themes, and violence. And we get all this beautiful, beautiful stuff, if I can be very careful as to not actually <laughs> uh, bend everything up. So we'll very carefully pull back. Come on. Uh-oh. This one wants to stick to the cardboard a little bit too much. There we go, we got it, all right. And do this, try, try to do it without bending, but it's not, I guess I, I kind of warped that a little bit, but not too bad. So that's a, that gluey stuff is stickier this time than it was in the past. So we'll set the J card to the side, and it looks like the box is pretty much the same thing. It just doesn't have the part at the bottom. Nothing under there, nothing under there. All right, so how do we get into this one? Looks like, uh, does it slide out? Does it pull out? What are we doing here? Let's get the plastic off and let's find out. Come on, there we go. All right, so we'll just slide off the plastic, throw it to the side, and it looks like we're just gonna come in the back here and that pops open real nice and easy. And we have the internal, ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm starting to remember what all is in here. And of course we'll look at everything a little more closely as we go, but first let's just see what's actually in the box. We get the Night Trap Premium CD case version, which is pretty funny that you can actually put your card in there. So that's a really kind of cool collectible case that I really love and appreciate. So I guess, what is this, like Sega CD? Or just CD-ROMs? I played a few CD-ROMs in my day, but not that many. So that's really cool, I like the side of it. Uh, oh, there's some stuff on the card here too, so we do have something interesting to look at. For scat eyes only. Nothing else there. And you got this dude who looks like somebody. He looks like Simon from The Walking Dead. That's what it is. It took me a second. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this one. All right. So we got mission background, blah, 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 blah. Of course, I will read all this myself for fun. This guy looks like he's doing a poor cosplay of the seventh doctor. So that's kind of fun. And then we get some more stuff there. Tells you where the hidden surveillance cameras are. I don't think I saw one for the toilet, but I wasn't looking that close. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so then we got the situation, and we got chicken a sports bra with a gun. My favorite kind of chicks. <laughs> well, I guess maybe Mary with a katana in the in the bedroom. Uh, wait, what? I was trying to make a clue joke, and it came out as pervy as I would normally be. So, anyways, moving on. <laughs> Almost through this. For those of you that want to read it. I feel like you should have some Star Wars music going on back there. And of course you got a notes page like you used to get, and then you got the back of the card. So that's also already a really, really nice thing. 
I think this is one of the one of the early one of the other collector's editions that actually has a nice little extras. It's not just a poster, a card, and a case or something. You know what I mean? Which is still nice, but it is what it is. So now let's take a look at the poster. As I'm gonna break that J card down, keep hitting it with my hand off camera. This may be a little bit tricky to show, or maybe it won't be. We'll see. I don't think this is this is not a double-sided poster. That's fine. This is my least interesting thing. I know some people love them. That's great. It's not for everybody. I just don't um, have a place to put posters because anywhere I would hang stuff, I have to deal with acoustic treatment. So, <laughs> all right. So pretty nice poster. And like I said, nothing on the back. You're not missing out on anything there. Now here, I think is one of the really interesting things you get with this game. You get a VHS tape. And I actually discovered um, another VHS player in my house yesterday. We'll take a quick look around, but I'll take the plastic off so you can see it better. Um, so I don't know if I'll show you guys some of this or not, although I think it's just like all the cutscenes from the movie. It's like, it's actually presented like a movie. And I'm not gonna get into VHS because I am a, a, a quality guy, picture quality guy. But uh, I'm glad to have a player that should hopefully play this if I wanna check it out. Get rid of that plastic. And here we go. And I'm sure some of you out there are very uh, very young and do not know what VHS is, although most of my audience is pretty well aware. So this is how movies happened before DVD. If you know about audio cassettes, it's kind of the same thing. And you just got a basic Night Trap label, no, no label on the spine. That's a little, little cheap, but oh man, there's that VHS smell. That's been a long time. Cool, so for the first time ever, you get, uh, a, get it available as a 48 minute motion picture. That's pretty fun. I would have loved to have had a DVD combo so I don't have to go hook up equipment to watch this, but I think that's gonna be a fun thing to watch. If I can show it to you, I'll do it here, but I don't know if I can show you anything from it. Plus those scenes are probably just in the game. We're gonna save the Steelbook for last, as we tend to do. I don't know if there's anything else in there. So we got the game, and I'll take the plastic off, and we'll look at all this a little bit closer so you can see it without all the reflections. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Throw that away. And here we go. I love stuff like this. There was a game I very much remember from my youth that I played with my dad, and it was called Phantasmagoria, I believe. And I think this might be in that kind of vein, perhaps, maybe. Except this is all motion video, not just scenes. And that's a game I would enjoy playing. And again, we still have kind of a little bit of the glue on the spine, which, you know, often leaves pieces of things behind. But I got it. We're good. And of course we do have a booklet and we have a reversible cover art. So let's look at the reversible cover art real fast. Of course you saw what the front looks like. And then of course you basically have the original artwork on there, which I think I kind of like the original better, but I'm gonna leave the new art on for now. And then we're gonna very carefully get this thing back in the case. Very gently, very gingerly. Is that a word? Did I use that word right? <laughs> I don't know, I just say things and see what happens. Uh, okay, so I think we got that in, we're good. Okay, and then of course there is the cartridge. Nothing too special there, other than just a basic cartridge. And we do have a Night Trap manual, so let's flip through this real quick before we get to some gameplay. Oh, I think this is just the same, yeah, this looks like exactly the same thing that we just looked through in the other case. So that's pretty cool that they gave you the manual in both sizes. Although I don't know that I would call it a manual so much. Doesn't really have controls, but I don't know that this game has that many controls. All right, so now, enjoy some gameplay footage.
You are a very special boy. We both know that. But you must start doing your job. We all have to do our job. I know. Well, help your... Paul, I'm sorry. Oh, che cretini. Bottle the two downstairs, and Sarah's coming in with six more tonight. Six? Yep. The problem is, Sheila and I might have to make a delivery. That's no problem. Tony and I can... Uh, did you guys see something moving over there? <laughs> no, Ashley, I think it's your imagination. I'm sure check out the book. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> No, this isn't exactly what I imagined, though. Has anybody seen my chamois bag? Which one? You got about a million of them. Back off, good face. You just better be glad I brought you along. The only reason you brought me along is because Mom made you. Shut What's the matter with you, anyway? I don't know. Bored, I guess. Bored. Well, that's going to change pretty soon, huh? I mean, we're on our own tonight. Stay here and enjoy our new guests. Now, Victor, we can't forget about the poor augers. Oh, you and your charity work. Call me Sheila. and I have to make a visit to the augers tonight. A delivery, actually. I'm sure you and the boys can take care of everything.
my gracious brother, Jeff. Look, it was your job to protect Kelly and the rest of those girls. But from what I've just seen, the place is being overrun. You've missed way too many of those suckers. Now, until you figure out how to do your job and do it right, you're dismissed. Breaking contact. Okay, hopefully you dug that. Now let's get into what should be the last piece in here. And then we'll check out, uh, we'll make sure that this is just a cardboard thingy. Yeah, there's no like keychains or anything in this one, so that's fine. Totes fine. Totes me goats. All right, let's check out this uh, steel book. Ooh, you know, at some to some degree, I would be upset. It's a little basic, but that's actually really nice. So we get the really sweet art on here, very shiny. But I love how shiny that is on the back. That's really cool. You got the nice spine, and then uh, oh yeah, you can kind of see. Sorry for the reflections. You can kind of see some uh, characters in there. So I guess we got some vampires going on. Spoilers, I didn't know that. Oh well. <laughs> All right, well there you guys go. That is Limited Run Games number eight for the Nintendo Switch, the collector's edition for Night Trap. And I am terribly, terribly excited to check this one out. Um, it's actually, tonight is a Saturday, so Mary and I are gonna be hanging out and catching up on TV shows. But if we weren't, I'd probably plop this in and start playing it. But since it's on the Switch, I can play it a little later. But there you guys go, that is the Night Trap Collector's Edition. So let us know, what do you think? Are you excited for this one? What games are you most excited for from Limited Run Games? What games have you been picking up? What other Switch titles do you think would be really cool for them to put out? And uh, just let me know, geek out with me in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all these things. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button, give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And I guess I'm gonna get out of here so I can go play some games and then open up some more stuff, and I'll see you all later.